A giant, petrified tree was discovered on the island of Lesvos, Greece. This region is no stranger to discoveries like this, as it was once the site of a massive volcanic eruption that petrified an entire forest 20 million years ago. In fact, the region is known as Sigiri, the Petrified Forest, and it covers an area of 15,000 hectares, 37,065 acres. However, even though petrified tree trunks are common in this region, what isn't common is the discovery of a tree in its original position with its root system still intact. And that is exactly what excavators have discovered. But what does this discovery mean for science? Let's find out. But before we jump in, be sure to do the thing and like, comment, and subscribe. I'm Eric Malachite, author of Echoes of Olympus Mons, and this is Science Get. In Greek mythology, Medusa was one of the three Gorgons. Medusa sported a head full of snakes and could turn any mortal unfortunate enough to lock eyes with her to stone. Some modern versions of the Medusa character feature the ability to break Medusa's stone curse by killing her. An example of this would be a recent Wonder Woman animated film, which for copyright reasons I won't be showing any clips of. But I will link to it in the description along with select clips from Clash of the Titans. Additionally, the ability to quote-unquote cure petrification is a common trope of fantasy video games and modern fantasy fiction. Ha 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 ha! Cure petrification? If only it was so simple! In the real world, on which most of us live, petrification is a real thing that can happen to living organisms, and one that is permanent, so don't go trying to turn your siblings to stone, as tempting as it might be. In the case of the island of Lesbos, Greece, an entire forest was petrified 20 million years ago when a volcano erupted, swallowing it whole. Petrification works by replacing the organic elements of an organism, in this case a tree, with minerals like silicate and quartz. In return for all the organic components that made up its being, i.e. the things that give it life, the tree retains its shape, like a statue doomed to forever be a monument to a piece of Earth's chaotic past. Once petrification is complete, what we have is a type of fossil. Even a tree's growth rings and other microscopic details can be preserved in the process. Much like other forms of fossilization, petrification also takes place underground. We've talked about how this can happen in the past, but whereas most fossilization takes place over a long period of time, the volcanic ashes and pyroclastic flows that caused the forest of Lesbos to be petrified happened extremely rapidly. For something that's 20 million years old, it's incredibly well preserved and it offers us a unique window to peer into the Oligocene and Miocene ages from which these trees originate. And with the discovery of a petrified tree measuring in at 19.6 meters, 21.4 yards, complete with its branches and roots, we may finally be able to understand what the environment that these trees lived in was like before that fateful eruption, and what happened to the other organisms that once lived in the forest. This petrified tree is absolutely massive. Just look at it. Most of the branches and roots dwarf the researchers excavating it. Excavators have uncovered many examples of Ligocene and Miocene era vegetation such as fruit trees, oaks, pine, palm, cinnamon, and conifers. And then there's this one, which looks an awful lot like a giant arm and hand. I was almost tempted to send this to a friend, claiming it was proof that giants roamed the earth once. Can you imagine? <laughs> Nicholas Zoros, a professor of geology at the University of Aegean, has been working to uncover fossils in the petrified forest for years. But in all his time working the island, he's never uncovered something quite like this. Professor Zoros says, We have a lot of findings over the years, but the latest ones are the most important. Really extraordinary. The 19.6 meter fossil was discovered during an excavation along the Coloni Sigri Highway. Professor Zoros continues by saying, This is not something very often found in excavations. We usually find logs without branches and roots. It's the only one found in the excavation with the branches, the root system, and was found on a layer full of leaves. We have all the organs of the tree in the regional system. This is unique until now. We have been excavating for 25 years and have never found such a tree. It should probably be no surprise to loyal ScienceGet viewers that volcanic activity can lead to a dramatic shift in climate. That's exactly what happened 250 million to 201 million years ago, during the End Triassic Extinction Event. 76% of all marine and terrestrial life was wiped out and the cause is thought to have been a massive spike in volcanic activity. This caused CO2 levels to spike dramatically 
causing the oceans to acidify and global temperatures to spike. And as it turns out, something similar happened 20 million years ago on the island of Lesbos, Greece. The colorful, petrified trees of Lesbos Island in Greece may look beautiful to tourists. They may even inspire a sense of awe, but they're also a warning. Extreme shifts in climate can wreak havoc on an ecosystem, as the marine and terrestrial organisms of the late Triassic could attest that they were still here and had, you know, the ability to speak human words. Today, the northwest area of Lesbos is rich in volcanic rocks like andesite, dacite, rhyolite, ignimbrite, pyroclastic, tufts, and of course, volcanic ash. No, not that one. Ruby. But more than 20 million years ago, this area was subtropical. However, the volcanic eruption that turned these ancient trees to stone rapidly changed the environment. Professor Zorro says that the organisms in the area could not survive that change, going on to say that it's important to explain to visitors that such changes can have dire consequences to an ecosystem. And the same can be said of modern ones as well. In the case of the petrified forest of Sigri, the eruptions that created it caused at least half of the species that once lived there to die, and all of that as a result of the eruption's effects on the environment. The professor went on to say, Retrieving a tree with its branches, roots, and leaves still attached is extremely rare. While 150 trunks recovered together will provide a unique snapshot of one point in time that will allow us to assess the biodiversity of the ecosystem. Cronus Tezeticus, a professor of physical geography at University College London, who was not associated with the excavation, had this to add to the professor's words. The new finds by Professor Zoros are stunning. More generally, although there are several petrified forests around the world, Sigri is exceptional because several trees are found in their original position with their root systems intact. This provides a rare glimpse of a Miocene forest in terms of its size and density. It will be interesting to see what comes of the analysis of this tree and ones like it at Sigri. The excavation of the tree was completed in January, so one can hope that more data will soon be on its way. For now, we'll just have to wait and see what comes of it. But here's where I pass it off to you in the comments. What do you think this discovery will uncover about Lesvos, Greece's volcanic past? Let me know your thoughts. If you dug this content, be sure to drop me a like and subscribe. And hey, if you dig this sort of content, check out this video on why and how birds survived the Cretaceous Paleogene extinction. Not to mention the asteroid impact that wiped out all non-avian dinosaurs that kickstarted the whole thing. And look at all those wonderful names. <sighs> Thank you, patrons. I am Eric Malachite, and I'll see you next time. I was almost tempted to send this to a friend, claiming it was proof that giants roamed the Earth once. Can you imagine? <laughs>